jazz singer, and I played from 74 to 80. Took one year off. Started out as a cornerback, went to free safety, and spent most of my time as a monster inside safety. That was the kind of defense it was called. So the inside safeties were monsters. Everybody let it all go. We, were, we weren't holding anything back, nothing. And it didn't matter how big or how small, we were all playing hard. Everybody was playing Yeah. Hard. And you know, in university life, you know, you go to the pub, and then you go over to Hull, and you meet all kinds of folks from all kinds of different schools and programs, and you want to walk in there proud. How fresh are those memories? You just need a trigger like this. So it's so weird. I'm 59 years old, and uh, you know, I'm supposed to be a mature, wise old man. But I gotta tell you, the adrenaline that is going through my body right now is incredible. I just want to go play. And it's a good thing they won't let me. Well, my name is Jeff Lokes. Uh, I played uh, the year 72 to 75, so four years uh, with the Ravens back in uh, 42 years ago. I knew nothing about the Panda. This was all new to me. I live, uh, I'm originally from Peterborough area. Uh, my focus was on universities like Queens or Toronto, and I knew nothing about Panda. And I have a younger brother who came to university after me and went to Ottawa U and played for the GGs. And so it's always interesting when this kind of thing comes up where we have a little email exchange or a conversation. Over the years, he's uh, had the upper hand, obviously, uh, because of the number of times the GGs have won, but still, it's good to stick it to him every once in a while. And uh, now with all the Carlton football um, gear that's out there that's available, I take a couple home for them at Thanksgiving and I'll give them a hat and a jacket and see if they'll wear it. <laughs> Especially if they win the game. Then he is damn well wearing it. Hi, my name is Steve Fretwell. I played 86, 87, and 88. Uh, and I, uh, I was a quarterback of the football team. What do you remember about the Panda game experience? Probably the easiest way to, say, to answer that question is to tell you that I had absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into. I knew that it was a big thing and as is true with most big things, you don't know how big it is until you actually get it to happen. And It's funny that we're having this discussion here on the sidelines because my fondest memory, which I drive my kids crazy telling them about it, is coming off the field halfway through the third quarter and standing like this and looking up and seeing the crowd because there wasn't much of a crowd in the first or second quarters because everybody had to get from campus and they come over and they all had to get frisked and then you look up here and what you saw a half hour before wasn't much and then you come up and you see just absolute pandemonium and we were winning and things were going quite well for us so it's one of my very distinct memories of, of Banda. I had no idea despite all the things that told people told me before, that it would be like that. That it would be as big of a thing and that it would stick with me now 25 years later. How vivid are those pictures? <laughs> as I get older, they get a little less vivid, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Jeff Hunt, president of Oseg Sports. Panda game is, uh, you know, like an institution in Ottawa. And it was a great tradition that unfortunately got lost when Carlton uh, pulled out of football, but they're back now. And more than anything, it's great to see all these young people in uh, here at TD Place, which is obviously uh, something that we hope would be the case in in, uh, in building this, uh, that, that it would be a popular place for young people. And to see all these young people here today, it's great. What does it mean to you to sort of have your fingerprint on what will hopefully be a brand new tradition here starting in 2014? Oh, I think all of my partners and I all take a great deal of pride of what TD Place and Lansdowne have become and what it means to the community and again to be able to host events like this. I mean, I, I went to the Panda game last year and it was an Ottawa U and it was, you know, it was a lot of fun, but to have it on a bigger stage like this, what it, which it deserves, and again, to bring back that tradition, it's great. That was a bit of a fluke, but you know what? They always say Panda games, crazy things happen. We'll take this one. Uh, I'm Nick Gorgachuk and uh, quarterback. It, it shows how big this game is, you know? not It's not just two teams. It's two cultures, two lifestyles, you know? Two universities just hate each other. It's straight hatred, you know? And I mean, I'm just, I'm so happy that we got this crowd out today. You know, I love my school. I love our culture, and hey, you know what? Panda's staying with us. Pedro's gonna stay with us for a little while. <laughs>